Welcome back, and now for the details of the news. Yesterday, the Region 6 RDC addressed the issue of drug shortages at various hospitals in the region. More details in this report. The issue of drug shortages within the region has always been an area of major concern. The matter was once again raised by PPP Councillor Mr. Lloyd Douglas at the fourth sitting of the Regional Democratic Council's statutory meeting held yesterday. Simple thing like strict to read your sugar company, diabetic people, it's not in the system. Something definitely wrong in this region. And the drug shortage continue to plague us. So we need to address that. And that has to be addressed by the CEO who is in charge of Region 6. Mm -hmm. To ensure what? that we have a continuous supply of drugs. Because we can't wait till it runs out and then we make a request. Yeah. The Port Moran Ophthalmology Center, uh, National Ophthalmology Center is now working. What is happening in the system? People get problems with their eye, they need to get it fixed. Because sight is very important. If you look at sight, you're free, you're proud. And so, things are getting out of control in the health sector. And we cannot sit here and not making the effort to get it fixed. Regional Director of Health Services, Mr. Javon Stevens, responded to the statements made by Councillor Douglas, saying, Culture drug situation region. Um, over the past two months to have improved. The main reason What's we're having job, job shortages is because materials management unit who is mandated to supply the region 100% <coughs> hasn't been able to receive their supplies or procure in a timely manner so as the regions could receive from them. Ophthalmology Hospital, Comma Chairman, we know in 2015 March a contract, a contract with Cuba that was supplying the National Appointment of the Drugs Medical Supply came to an end. And the region was at no point while procuring drugs and medical supplies for that hospital. It was never catered for in our budget. The ministry is now working on a plan to get that contract renewed and have, well, yeah, I don't give up when I know you, and have it um, brought back up to speed. In the interim, we are receiving minimal minimum stock from GPHC to assist at um, Dr. Moji Hospital. Regional Chairman Mr. David Armagan underlined the importance of having the National Ophthalmology Hospital at Port Morant functioning optimally since the majority of the population cannot afford to seek medical attention at private institutions. But you're saying to me that this thing came to life in 2015. And this is 2017, March. And, so March. March. and we haven't yet been able to make of some arrangement. And whilst that is happening, our people are going blind. Because a lot of them cannot afford. It's very expensive, the surgery. It's very expensive privately. So a lot of the poor people in our community, and this, we used to help the whole country. I mean, we used to help Suriname and people coming from other parts of the Caribbean to go at the national, and they used to do like about 70 to 80 surgery per day, cataract surgery. That is why we were able to clear all the backlash at about 2014, 2015. But now again, we are having a serious backlash, and people cannot afford, and as a result of that, a lot of our people will likely go blind because they, they can't pay to remove the, the, the cap. So I, I think our REC here, we need to, I think we need to register our discontent I think we need to uh, register our, um, you know, that, that, that the ministry needs to do much better in terms of procuring drugs and medical supplies for the National Ophthalmology Center. The chairman concluded that swift action on the part of the ministry needs to be taken to ensure that the hospital is up and running in a suitable time frame. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.